we're nearly done with this side. There's just a couple of things I want to talk about. First thing I want to mention is going back to the actual linking parameters. If you remember on side one, we had three different operations, three different contour operations with the quarter inch end mill. And so on the first operation, on the linking parameters, um, more specifically the home and reference points, I had an approach. And then on the second operation, I didn't do anything. And then on the third operation with the same tool, I had to retract. Well, now we've reduced the number of operations. We've gone, we've cut out the first one. And so really now we need an approach. The first time we use that tool, and then the second time we use it, we need to retract. It should all, all already be retracted from its previous point, and it is. And so we're good to go there. Basically, what it will do is when it uses the drill, the drill will approach as it before it drills at the origin and two inches above the origin there. It will drill all of the holes, those 11 holes, and then retract. To this location and then it will go up to its tool change position will change the tool and we put in the quarter inch end mill it will then the quarter inch end mill the first time we use it will be here it will approach to this position and it will cut off or it will not cut off i'm sorry it will cut all of those um, five access holes and then once it's cut off, cut out those five access um, contours, it will then go and cut off the end. And then once it's done cutting off the end, it will retract. And again, the reason why we're cutting off the end, the end wasn't measured precisely. It was just cut off on a bandsaw, horizontal bandsaw. And it's a little bit longer. So that gives us a nice Again, I don't need to do any finish passes. Just a nice single pass will give uh, a very nice finish. The other thing I wanted to talk about is the order in which we use the tools. If you remember on the first side, we started with the drill, and then we moved to the quarter-inch end mill. And on the second side, we go back to the drill, and then we go to the quarter inch end mill. For us doing the master cam, that's not a big deal, but think about the person machining it. They have to put in the drill bit, drill those eight holes on side one, and then change the tool to a quarter inch end mill. And then it's going to um, cut out those, um, all those contours. And then they have to loosen the vise, turn the piece 90 degrees away from them, tighten the vise, and now they have to switch tool because they have to go back to the drill bit. Think about ways you could save time, and one way you can save time on machining is change the order of the operations here. So instead of drilling first, why don't we have them do the contour first? Because that tool's already in the machine. And so that will save them time. Now, realize it would be different if we were milling four of these. And so this year we actually milled five of them. We built two robots, um, one for each side, and then we built a spare. And so instead of just doing operation one and then two and then three and then four, what we did is we did operation one, um, for a single piece, and then operation one for the second piece, etc. But let me just show you how you can change the operator, the order. All you really need to do is take this, select the first row, and drag it down here. And so it's up to you if you want to change the order. If you're doing a single part or how you're going to end up doing it, maybe you just want to do a single part, run through all four operations and then get the next part out and go through all four operations. That's perfectly feasible. And if we did that, then I would definitely drag the drill down to doing that last and then reorder. And as you can see,